This is the second part. It's based on this book here by Yukteswagiri. Three Three Yukteswagiri. It's called the Holy Science. He he was the guru of of Paramahansa Yogananda. Now I am going to give the message of his book. The message is this. We are in Dwapara Yuga, not Kali Yuga. We are not in Kali Yuga. My favorite videos on YouTube are those from the Duderinok, who is a relative of Super Indigo Bear, including Coast to Coast Radio. Thank you, George. I have noticed that even learned Orientalists, such as Michael Kramer, seem to think that we are still in Kali Yug. I believe that is a mistake. Swami Yukteswagiri, the guru of Paramahansa Yogananda, was commissioned by Mahavata Babaji to write a book called The Holy Science, currently published in paperback by the Yogoda Satsanga Society. The Hindus have no pope, but if they did, Mahavata Babaji would be it. In that book, Yukteswagiri pinpoints some massive errors made by the calendar pundits centuries ago, which have never been rectified. This is a case of the holy cow syndrome. Some dignified personages make an exorbitant error, but it is very bad form to talk about it. So it is perpetuated in a tunnel. In this case, the error was of the magnitude of approximately 35,000 years, which is no trifle but more like a pink elephant. Of course, Hindus are not the only people who suffer from holy Taoism. The Vatican is notorious for it. They call it the deposit of faith. Mathematics since the Greeks has been saying that you can add one to any number, though actually you can't. Descartes is a holy cow these days, so is Darwin. Einstein is well on the way, and Stephen Hawking not far behind him. The reason I'm harping on this is that if we continue to think we are in Kali Yuga, when in fact we were in fully fledged Dwapara Yuga from the birth of my mother, in 1899, when Queen Victoria vaguely ruled the world, then we will be making a wholly wrong diagnosis as well as a wrong prognosis about the evils that afflict us. This is a message of hope. <coughs> We now have absolutely no reason to be afraid of anything. The Sovereign Lord is leading us, and victory is sure. We are going to win. The actual Kali Yuga lasted 2,400 years. It had a descending cycle of 1,200 years, from 701 BC to 499 AD. So 499 AD is the darkest and most dismal point of the whole cycle of the zodiac of 24,000 years. It 
which had an ascending cycle of 1,200 years from 499 AD to 1699 AD. Notice that we get the Royal Society from 1660 and Isaac Newton's best work from 1670. That is like a new dawn. The 200 years from 1699 to 1899 is in the Dwapara Sandhi, which means the transition or mutation period from Kali Yuga energies to Dwapara Yuga energies. Gradually, our consciousness ascends to the point where we can understand the subtle forces of electricity and electronics. And then will come magnetism, the key to everything, because it is the interface between pure spirit and condensed spirit. That is between Mahaprakriti and Prakriti. The full cycle of 24,000 years is not the same as the Mayan cycle of 26,000 years. That is because the Mayans were working with intergalactic astrology, while the Hindu system is based on the zodiac. But I feel that a way could be discovered to reconcile these two systems. One should realize that while the infinite is cyclic, it's cyclic so that history seems to repeat itself. Actually, it doesn't. Because the cycle is like a staircase firing upwards, ever upwards. The infinite is always fresh and new and never actually repeats itself. If you don't believe that, take a good look at the Mandrot set. That is infinite.